Hello, hello, and good afternoon, and happy Tuesday. Welcome to some exciting nutrition news for the soul, mind, and body. Coming from a fresh, simple, and from a total body wellness perspective. So for those who are listening in live, I thank you and always am so delighted that you take time out of your busy schedule to join me live. And those who are listening to the replay, I thank you as well for taking time out of your busy schedule to kind of pause for a moment to tune in to some nutrition news. And so for those, as you chime on, please feel free to give me a shout out, tell me hello, um, even share where you are. If you're not in Orlando, Florida, please give me an idea of where you are tuning in from. And also I wanna just give out some continued prayers to our kiddos, both who are face-to-face -face and those who are virtual. The schools all around the world, staff, administration, as we all work together to keep the educational experience both safe and rich for all of us. And prayers goes out to the president, the first lady, as well as other government officials who are who have tested positive for the coronavirus. So we pray for a full recovery for everybody who has tested positive. And so for those who are are jumping on, I see a jump. People are jumping on. October, kind of a precursor to the holiday season. And so we're talking about don't forget about you during the holiday season. And can you believe that it is even October? And so for those who are tuning in, I see some folks jumping on, please feel free to say hello and give me a shout out and even tell me where you're tuning in from if you are not in Orlando, Florida. And so I'm just sharing how, wow, it's, it's October already. It's the fourth quarter of 2020 already. And guess what else kicks into high gear? The holiday season. And so soon people are going to start thinking about New Year's resolutions again. Feels like we were just here a minute ago. And what is the number one New Year's resolution of all time? What? Weight loss, right? <laughs> Physical distancing will, you know, continue to be with us during the holiday season. I seriously doubt that this will ease the hustle and bustle of, you know, that the holiday season usually brings. So stay tuned as I will give the first of four holiday mistakes that um, that people make and how to survive the holidays without gaining weight. And I just spoke with a client today who has been losing weight, been losing inches, and she is fearing going into the holiday season because she does not want to basically undo all the hard work that she's done. She doesn't want to gain weight back. And Thanksgiving for her is the most challenging. So she's not alone, and many people have the same concerns going into the holiday season. And so I'm going to do a quick intro while people are still tuning in. My name is Sandra Goltry, and I am a registered dietitian nutritionist. And my divine purpose is that people know that healthy and sustainable weight loss, natural energy levels, and optimal health with or without meds are possible just and just simply feeling good about yourself. It's possible with three key ingredients, and that's one, enjoying your favorite foods. You never want to feel deprived, getting quality sleep, and engaging in effective exercise. So when you build all three of those key ingredients into your for yourself, and over time, in your own time, it creates lifelong habits that really will add years back to your life. And again, as I see people chiming in, please feel free to say hello to me and just give me a little shout out and welcome and thanks for tuning in live. And I truly believe that it is God's gift of just simple, natural approaches to health and wellness. Very simple, nothing complex and nothing um, too, too invasive. And so as we're tuning in today to the precursor of the holiday season, so October, you know, it's really just kind of kicking off the holiday season. You know, we have Halloween and even though we may not celebrate it, some people do, some people don't, it's candy everywhere, it's sweets everywhere. So it kind of begins the kickoff. And during all the hustle and bustle, we don't want to forget about yourself. You don't want to forget about you during the holiday season. Focus on the kids, it's family, it's travel, decorations, shopping. And we seem to lose ourselves in the midst of all of that. And I don't see that lightening up not one bit just because of the, the pandemic that we're in. And so I have a question. We're going to kick things off with this. So are you, are you, do you want to enjoy yourself? over the holidays and eat what you want to enjoy eating and foods that you don't normally have and still lose weight. 
Or if you're at your ideal weight and you just want to maintain, maintain your weight, because what is very common is that people will generally gain weight during the holiday season. So post absolutely if that's something that you definitely you want to enjoy yourself, but yet you don't want to have the effects of it going into 2021. <laughs> and so this leads me to a few questions that I may have for you is what were your weight loss goals that you set back in January? Do you remember those resolutions that you set for yourself to get healthier? That's number two. And what in and what was the one goal that you have, you know, that if, that you have year after year after year? Was it to lose the same 20 pounds maybe, or maybe lower some of your, your blood pressure, your blood sugar? What were your goals, okay? And if you have not met those goals, it is not your fault. You're not alone. We had a lot going on in 2020, didn't we? And if you set those goals, just, just simply chime in. You did. You set some goals. You're no different than anybody else. We all do. And... Now let's fast forward. Let's fast forward. And what we want to do is we want to make this holiday season different than what it's been in the years past. So, and that's what not forgetting about you is all about, because that's the one mistake that we make. We forget about ourselves and the hustle and the bustle. So let's fast forward 10 months. Okay. Today, have you lost the weight that you hope for? Are your energy levels higher? Do you feel healthier? And if you answer no to any of those questions, again, you're not alone. In fact, new research shows that about 80% of people give up on their New Year's resolution goals by January 12th. Now, this was pre-COVID, okay? So this was pre-COVID that people kind of throw in the towel. But the good news is it's not too late. We have, we have three months left. We still have October. We have November. We have December. We have three months left to answer yes to every single one of those questions. And so I will post yet another question for you. For sure, if you want to have all three of those goals met for yourself, you may not be at your goal weight by December, but you're losing, you're feeling better, your energy levels are a lot higher than what they are right now, and that is huge. And so after sharing the number one holiday mistake, I will share with you how you can lose weight how you increase your energy levels and how you feel better by the end of the year. So today I'm gonna to be sharing one of the four common holiday mistakes that we make. So with our mile long to-do list for the holiday season and COVID is not gonna slow that down, what we eat or don't eat tends to take a back seat, okay? And so really the number one mistake that people make is skipping breakfast, okay? So no matter how many parties you go to, whether they're virtual, <laughs> whether they're in person, that you're attending, having a solid breakfast is key. So going to an event or going through your day starving, is a it really results in overeating 99.9% .9 of the time. So we tend to think we're saving calories when we skip breakfast or we maybe don't have um, lunch because we're going to have the big feast, but it really backfires at the end of the day. And so this form of saving calorie, it really results in eating a lot more. Hence, it leads to the holiday gain because we tend to do that on a regular basis during the last three months of the year. And so here is a simple example of a breakfast that is filling, that will fuel your body, your mind, your soul, and kind of it will lead you to a more productive day to get you going, to get your energy levels going. Okay, and, but again, this depends on a person's individual weight loss goals and their weight needs, okay? But here's something that's adequate. So you can have a half a cup of cooked oatmeal or even a slice or two of whole wheat toast. One of the two, so either oatmeal or a slice or two of whole wheat toast. You can have a half a cup of berries or some other fruit of choice. You can have a whole egg, no problem with that. Eight ounces of milk, so that can be 1% fat free, lactose-free, soy milk, it depends on your tolerance level. Or if you don't wanna have milk, you can have yogurt. And having all of that, a lot of people say all of that, <laughs> but this is an example of clean eating, okay? It's balanced, it meets the macros, it gives you enough calories to actually fill you up for at least three and a half to four hours. And it's, it's a powerhouse breakfast. It's packed with whole foods and it's rich 
treatment. It is designed to jumpstart your metabolism, jumpstart your, 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 your energy levels, and to get you going so you're not feeling sluggish all day, okay? And so, and if you're a coffee drinker, feel free to add your coffee to all of that. And so, but again, some people may need more than that. Some people may need less than that. But I just want to give you an idea of what a balanced breakfast is. It's more than just eggs and bacon, or it's more than just protein. You want to have a balance of, of foods, okay? And so let me post another question. So for those who are chiming in and they heard the breakfast, are you surprised that, wow, I eat all of that for breakfast? Yes, most people do not eat enough food at breakfast, okay? So that's, it really is the most important meal of the day. And think about what breakfast is. It is breaking the fast. So ideally you've been asleep at least seven hours and you're supposed to wake up ready to eat, not starving. But if you can wake up at six o'clock and you're going till about one without eating, that means your metabolism is really, really slow and it's, it's a good idea to wake it up. All righty. And so you want to start the day off strong. You want to start the day off fueled. And that's just one way to where you are not forgetting yourself during the holiday season. That's usually what tends to fall through the cracks. We don't get enough sleep. We don't eat enough and we tend to don't exercise because we're so into the hustle of the bustle. And so this leads into how you can lose weight and how you specifically can increase your energy levels and how you can feel better by the end of 2020. And so remember, it's not too late to achieve all three of these before the end of the year. And so it's the perfect start to jumpstart your weight loss, your health goals before the holiday season really, really kicks in good. We're just on the beginning of it. And why do you want to do all this? You want to enjoy your you want to enjoy food, you want to enjoy family, you want to enjoy fellowship, and you still either want to lose weight or maintain your weight that you have lost or, or maintain in general that you work so hard throughout the whole year and not it all fall apart in the last three months of the year. How is that possible? I am offering at no charge to you a 45 minute weight loss breakthrough session. And this is where I am completely focused on the best nutrition, the best lifestyle plan, for you that will finally kick your body into weight loss gear to give you the newfound energy that you, you know, most people don't even think it's possible. They, they're, they're so used to feeling sluggish. They're so used to waking up feeling tired that they don't realize that that is not normal, okay? That's not normal. Our bodies are just pushing through and you shouldn't have to push through that, okay? And you don't have to push through that. And so to put your name in what I call the virtual hat, you simply go to the link you fill out the short application and I am going to review those. And I'm picking 10 people who are really committed, who are really ready to receive um, some help and who want to really get through the holiday seasons without, without gaining weight. And my goal is to motivate you, to get your motivation back. Cause a lot of times we lose, we lose momentum when we don't see the results that we desire when we put in so much. And so I want you to believe in your dreams. I want you to believe that it is very possible for you to get very crystal clear on your next step so that you can see the results that you've been trying to, to achieve with the effort that you have been putting in and so that you can enjoy the holidays without feeling like you need to go on yet another diet in January. And so definitely fill out the link. I look forward to speaking with you. I thank you for tuning in. And if you have any questions, feel free to post in the chat. I will check the chat after the live. But again, it is all about you not forgetting about yourself during the holiday season, right? So if anything resonated with you, feel free to reach out to me, send me an email. If you have any more questions, uh, specifically about the breakfast I talked about, how what a breakfast that's more tailored for you, feel free to reach out to me. So do your part in preventing the spread of this virus, wear your mask, wear your face coverings, and maintain physical distancing. It really does make a difference. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you for tuning in, and I will see you this time next week for holiday mistake number two. Bye-bye.